Hey, what's up everybody? BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's doing well. Going to do a short video today on the Fimi Palm Gimbal application or the phone app. I'm using a iPhone X or iPhone 10. We're going to go ahead and go into the app. You can see the icon for the Fimi Palm is towards the bottom right. It's the purple app. It says Fimi Play. I'm going to go ahead and tap that. I'm already on the Wi-Fi, so I already turned on the Wi-Fi uh, inside the Fimi Palm, and I also selected the Wi-Fi, the Fimi Palm Wi-Fi on my iPhone. So let's go ahead and enter device. Okay, so here is my Mac we're looking at through the Fimi Palm. There's my hand. I'm going to turn the video sideways so we could have it sideways so we're not looking at it in portrait view all the time. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we are now looking at the Fimi Palm application. You can see the big red buttons, the play record, or the, the record button. Let's start over at the top left. You got the home button, which will take us back to the home here. We wanna go back into the device. Again, here we are live. Uh, the next button down here, uh, you can see the uh, gimbal and handle. You can change the modes for the gimbal, as well as the speed, the follow speed when you use the joystick, the joystick speed, uh, there's some advanced settings that we can go into here. You can adjust the axis and things of that nature. And if you wanted to reset the gimbal, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little back button up here by the house. And then the next one down here is the uh, resolution and frame rate. So I have it right now on 4K uh, resolution at 30 frames, but this is where you would change it if you want to put it on 10p uh, 60 frames. You can do that, which looks great in YouTube personally as well. Uh, I'm going to keep this on 4K 30. Uh, okay, and then we'll go down to the next menu here. This is where if you want to really change some outputs, um, you know, in America, we use NTSC. You don't want to use PAL for that. Uh, you can change the color um, and things of that nature. So I haven't really got a whole lot into this section yet, but this is more or less just an overall quick look at what the application looks like. And down here is also uh, more settings. We can put it on pro mode. Uh, you can see the SD card there. You can reformat the SD cards. And device info, this is something that um, I've looked at a couple times. You can see the serial number, the model number, and the second line down it says camera. Right now I'm on version 1124.01. As you can see, I have a Mac right here. I personally have not figured out how to upgrade the, uh, the versions of the firmware through my Mac. I can't figure it out, and the videos that Fimi has on YouTube on how to do that is all done by a PC. So that's something that really bothers me, and I guess I'll just say it now. This is probably a camera that I'm not going to be keeping. I'm actually probably going to return this camera. Aside from not being able to update all the firmware, initially there was some sound issues, although the sound issues do seem a little bit better. Um... I have an external mic that I bought, which does sound better. My main issue with this Femi Palm, and again, I apologize, but this video really is about the application here. I should be talking about that, but I'm just being honest, and this probably will be the last video that I do on the Femi Palm before I return it. The, the joystick, I mean, every time you use the joystick, it clicks like there's a lot of resistance on the joystick and so every time you hit up or down you might be able to hear that right now as i'm doing that but when you're recording all of that comes through on your audio and it comes through way louder and that is annoying as heck so I am not going to want to do that extra editing. Um, that's the biggest thing with this Fimi Palm for me. It's not, I can't have that clicking in my videos. 
Going back to the application here, you can change on the very, very right side. You can change the, the modes of recording if you want to do a time lapse there or slow-mo or video recording. Uh, if you can see right here to the bottom left of the record button, there's this little diamond looking, looks like a baseball diamond. This is actually the joystick. So you can use this on your app for the joystick. Now that's really nice and that is a lot quieter than using the joystick on the Fimi itself. But you have to have the phone open and that's gonna drain your battery. I do like the app for being able to view things if you're really shooting some like movies or anything like that. Um, or if you can have your phone plugged in the whole time so it's not gonna drain your battery. But I am not gonna hold the Fimi Palm in my right hand and then hold my iPhone in the other hand just so I can have a bigger viewfinder. That's not what I'm gonna do. Uh, going down here to the very, very bottom, this is where um, all my files, all my photos and or videos that I had shot are in here. And you can see there's some information here. I don't have any in here. Um, so there's really nothing to look at. If I had shot a video, that would be in here actually. Uh, let's go back to the camera. So this brings us back to the to the page there. Uh, let's see, at the very top left, you can see how much battery I have left on the Fimi Palm. So what's at 94%. And you can see how much space is left on my, my SD card, 59.4 gig. Um, out of 59.5 gigs on the card total. And then up here to the top right, uh, this cross with the arrows, that will straighten out the Fimi Palm to make it very, very, very straight, like with the horizon and all that. Um, so you could do that. <clears throat> and then also, right above that, this will actually turn the Fimi Palm around all the way. So here I am. So we will turn that back all the way around again and do that. Just trying to keep that on the Mac so it's just not boring to look at there. Uh, and then again, there's a record button. Uh, this next one here to the left and the very, very top to the left of the circle. I'm not sure what that is. It kind of changes the view on that. The next one is turning the microphone off. or on and then the the last thing I'm not quite sure what this one does either to be honest with you and then down here at the very bottom middle if you wanted to change some of the isolation or the aperture you can do all that through here as well so that's a real quick basic look at the application when you get into it um, I really really was excited to get this Fimi Palm I bought it on Amazon for 194 it, there's just too many things for, like, for 194 there's just too many things that it's not working right for me the clicks I do not like that's the biggest thing um, I'm able to finally I've done some videos so you can check out all my videos on the Fimi Palm I've done videos um, on just just about everything on the Fimi Palm there was a few more I wanted to do but I'm not going to take it out I actually have a couple more weeks to return it Amazon has a 30 day return policy I've really tried working with this thing to keep it, but for the 194, it's not going to work for me. I have a big trip coming up, and I really wanted to be able to use this, but I think for this trip, I'm going to go back to my handy GoPro that I have and just use that. Um, so my overall feelings about the Fimi Palm, I would wait. Maybe they'll do a version 2. Maybe they'll have more firmware updates, but... Uh, I'm a little bit bummed because I bought the uh, ex the uh, the adapter for the external mic. I paid like 25 bucks for that, and I think I'm going to be out of that because I threw away all the uh, all my package and stuff. So um, I'll be out the 25 dollars for that, and I bought an external mic. I don't remember what I paid for that um, 20, but I don't even remember. I done videos on them, so you could look that up. I'm going to be out with that, but that external mic I might be able to use for something else. So, uh, you know, that's a quick look at the app for the Fimi Palm. Again, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, certainly not one of my better videos that I've recorded for my uh, Fimi Palm, but just a quick look here at the, uh, the application. Uh, if you're thinking about getting one, I mean, I think you are kind of taking a chance right now. Uh, 
I wrote Femi Palm uh, an email. They got back to me within like a day. They asked me all these questions because I complained about the clicking. And they were like, did you drop the gimbal? Did you do the firmware updates? I'm like, yes, I did the firmware updates. No, I didn't drop it. This is the way your joystick is very firm and it's clicky. It's just, it's the way that it was built. That's just not going to work. So I wrote them back and I immediately got an email back that said, oh, we're sorry, we're on our holiday for the next week, so we won't respond until late October. Then I was like, you know what, I'm not going to... I'm not going to wait with the issues I'm having. I'm going to, I'm going to return this thing. So I'm kind of unhappy with it, but, um, I anyway, you know, I, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, check out my other Femi Palm videos. Uh, and, um, yeah, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you on the next video. All right, everybody take care now. Bye-bye.